this video is going to very briefly show you how to add a strategy um, to the Axelrod repository when you only want to use the GitHub interface. If you're familiar with Git and GitHub, you probably don't need to watch this, if only perhaps just to see where stuff should go. So first of all, if you go to the URL and if you look at the readme, there's a bunch of information of where stuff should go. There are in fact two basic things that uh, need to be done. And the first one is adding a strategy. To do that, we simply navigate to um, the strategies uh, subfolder, subdirectory, and click on the plus. This will actually fork the project in your GitHub account if you haven't already done this. Jason's already done it, so it's already there. From there, you can just copy and paste uh, the code in, and you name your file, the name of the strategy, and you click Propose New Change. If you see up top there, what's important is the name of the branch. This will automatically create a branch in your GitHub account. So you need to create a GitHub account for this. And just keep, keep track of that branch name. Jason is now writing a pull request, so he can now write something helpful that when I look through the code, I'll kind of know what I'm looking at. So this pull request has been created, and it's on that branch that we talked about before. So anything Jason now adds to that branch um, will get counted into this pull request. So Jason now goes to his GitHub account. He can update the init.py file, which is something you need to do. So it goes to the same branch. That's the same number we, we noted previously. Clicks on Axelrod, clicks on strategies, and inside strategies, he just needs to add two simple lines that will help um, the piece of software uh, know all the strategies available to it. So he says, from Grumpy, import everything. So Grumpy is the name of the file. Um, it's basically a sub-module inside the module. And then this is the actual name of the class that he created, which is capital G Grumpy. He just leaves a, uh, a little message in, his, in what's called a commit. And then he just adds this to the already created pull request. The final step, and only do this if you know what you're doing um, or you're feeling kind and would like to learn how, is to add a test. Um, this just allows uh, me to make sure that everything's still working. So to do this, you go into the test directory, and then you're going to create a new file, which is just going to be test underscore followed by the name of the directory you've done. Copy in the code, committing the file, and this gets added to that original pull request. If Jason now navigates back, to the original repository, he can see the full pull request, which has all the files and the changes in it. And now he just waits for me to respond to this pull request. So now I'm just going to show what happens from my point of view. I go to my GitHub account. My stream shows that there's been a pull request on my repository. Um, so I take a look. I look at the files change. And I see that the way he's built this class, the class has a state that whether or not the, the strategy is grumpy or not. And I've actually realized since um, Jason was working on this, while well, at the same time that Jason was working on this, that I needed to change how players were reset. So it's not a big problem because version control takes care of it all. So now I'll just write a message to Jason saying, hey, thank you so much for doing this, but take a look at these various um, commits, and I'm actually copying the commits in so you can see the exact points that the code was changed. Um, and please make, make some changes because you need to change how the reset method works in, in your class. So now this is how everything will get merged. Um, Jason's made all the changes. Here's the pull request. You can see we had a bit more of a conversation. I added, asked him to add in another test, and um, it's all good to go. So locally, I can pull everything. I've got that all there. You can see here the stuff that Jason did, all his commit messages. Um, you can also see where I added something that corrected the reset method, and uh, you can see where I merged it in. So this is ready to be tested out. The first thing I can do is run the tests, and again, you don't need to do this, but from my point of view, it's very important that I do it, make sure that nothing's broken. Um, and then you can also run the tournament. And once you've run the tournament, you can take a look at the, at the pictures and see um, how Jason's new strategy did. Please do contribute. Any strategies are welcome.